After 28 years of making music, the French EDM duo Daft Punk has split up. It's sad to see them go, and I know the news dropped a while ago, but I want to take a second to look at the history that Daft Punk has made. Not only was Daft Punk at the forefront of the EDM movement, but they were also one of the first artists to embrace both anime and gaming in their music and in a way that we did not see as much back then. In the early years of their career, Daft Punk was one of the first EDM artists to contribute an original track to a video game. In 1996, the track Music was featured in the racing game Wipeout 2097, a game series that pioneered original techno soundtracks. Much later in 2009, Daft Punk themselves appeared in DJ Hero, where players could mix some of the most famous tracks by the duo. In the hip-hop space, different figures had already made appearances in games like Def Jam Fight for New York, Def Jam Vendetta in 2003, but this was the first time prominent EDM artists enter video games as characters. Now, seeing EDM figures in video games is very common. Not only did EDM artist Marshmell have his own skin, but he was also the first person to have a live event in the popular Battle Royale Fortnite. Concerts in video games are now an incredibly popular medium for music performances, especially with 12 million people who watch Travis Scott's Fortnite concert. Alongside gaming, Daft Punk first meshed into the anime world with their album Discovery. All the music from this album became the basis for the anime music movie Interstellar 4 5's The Story of the Secret Star System. Even though Interstellar was released in 2003, music videos from the album debuted before the movie was released and most notably on Toonami. And if you watched anime in the early 2000s, you already know what I'm talking about. Toonami was the famous programming block from the 2000s that was the main source of anime for many of us here in the United States. In 2001, Toonami had a special midnight run broadcast of animated music videos and featured the world premiere for the harder, better, faster, stronger music video. And with this, Daft Punk not only became ingrained within the anime community, but also introduced fans of anime more into EDM. While anime has a major influence both on gaming and music today, in the 2000s it was rare to see any sort of crossovers when it came to these mainstream cultures now. Especially back then when there was a negative stigma surrounding not only EDM but also anime and gaming. Daft Punk's use of anime and Interstellar, as well as their influence within gaming, really helped to lay the early groundwork for more and more electronic artists and more and more artists to dive into these industries, as well as dive into this kind of style. Even today, half of any lo-fi song will start with a sample from an anime show, and usually with Cowboy Bebop. Even though Daft Punk split up and it's a very sad day, their influence on EDM, gaming, and anime, and the wider acceptance is still felt around the world till this day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, comment, or even a retweet, and we will have more deep dives into the intersection of culture, gaming, and more.